So yesterday you saw me presenting what it takes to build a next generation shopping and pricing engine, right? Today you are going to see all that in action. So let's see what is dynamic pricing. Like Gianni said, everybody has their own definition. What we believe is it should not be the vendor or the uh, system provider defining airlines how you want to do dynamic pricing. It should be airline deciding how you want to do your dynamic pricing. So the one way which is going to take most traction, I think, is you will start with the base fare of ATPCO. You will start with your schedules, which are OAG based, and your availability. And then you put rules and rankings to it to really make that offer dynamic. And the optimization doesn't have to be at the fair level only. You can optimize your schedules. You can optimize your availability or the ATP co base rules and fares. So in the next five minutes, you are going to see three scenarios how we are dynamically pricing various layers. And how you are going to see it? You will see it. With the UI we call Time Machine, we have built this UI just to showcase our products. And you will see Fairlogic's Rules and Offer Designer. This is a mind mapping tool where it lets you as airline basically define any idea or rule you want to implement. So scenario number one. The connection points, your schedules, are not just about time anymore. Your connection points have value. You can optimize it. You can dynamically change it. So what we are doing here is we are just pulling the schedules based on OAG data of one of the large airlines from Miami to Hong Kong. So when you pull the schedules based on OAG data, you get all different connections from LA, Chicago, New York. Now we are going to do, we are going to optimize this or change it based on who is asking. So if you know you want to optimize your rules, uh, your, your schedules, if you know that it's OTA, you only get connections via LA because that's what you want to promote there. And this is because we have put a business rule on top of the OAG data to say if it's an OTA, you, don't, you go via only um, LA and take out other wire points. The scenario number two. We all heard how it's important nowadays to have response times fast in milliseconds with no cash with doing all the ATP co-processing, all that complexity of fares and rules. So what we are going to show you is again, doing a shopping request from Calgary to Toronto. There is no cash, the system is processing all the fares filed for this market and their associated rules and still return the responses in 52 milliseconds. So the system, the engine, is indeed fast. Moving on to our final scenario. You have heard over and over again from MIT that if you know your passenger, whether it's a business or leisure, and you know their propensity to buy or willingness to pay, and you know the load factor, you can you can dynamically mark up or discount this offer, right? And when we saw that, we said, yes, you can do it today. So what we did, we integrated with a company called Adara. That's what they do. They're, at the browser level, they collect information of this person, their shopping behavior, and they predict whether the person is a business or a leisure and what's their willingness to pay. So we did that integration and put this rule and you are going to see first the basic 
shopping requests without any rules coming from AT Pico. And then we are going to show you the rule which we have put and the integration with Adara and how the, the offer is dynamically getting priced. So this is the rule which we have put in place. 10% uh, discount, if it's less than 50% load factor, the propensity to buy is uh, very low. It's a leisure traveler and you have within seven days. And we are going to now show you how we integrated with the company Adara. So we get the propensity to buy at the browser level, at the cookie level. So it's still anonymous shopping. And we did the search again, and now that offer is dynamically priced from 249 discounted to 224. And here I want to emphasize, I mean, this use case may not resonate with all, right? But we are not here to tell you, define your strategy. We are here to say, Whatever strategy an airline has, the technology is here. You can do it. And the best part is you can experiment. You can experiment with these products, Fairlogic's product, without making it a big IT project. And we can say it with confidence that we are the leader in airline business rules engine, whether that's merchandising or core pricing. And we have largest airlines using this platform in production for many years already. And lastly, I want to emphasize that our system, the only limitation of this rules engine and the platform is human mind. If you can think about an idea, if you can think about a rule, you will be able to implement it using it. And I'll close with saying, be aware if somebody says, our system will take care of it, will give you the best offer of the box, don't fall for it. It's your airline shopping engine, and it's your rules. And don't lose that control. With that, I'll say next generation technology is here. Let's make it happen. Thank you. I gave you 20 seconds, man. I'm blown away. <laughs> well, we were joking before. There was no way we were going to keep to time. So just before I ask you a couple of questions, a bit of housekeeping. We're coming to the halfway point. You know you have these lovely pieces of paper. Take notes because. You, when you come back to vote people at the end, will you remember what they said? Um, Rinesh. Yeah. I'm sorry, you said you were the best. Um, I'm sure there's an Irish company that does the same thing as you guys did. <laughs> anyway, so. They're not here, right? I don't know. No, they're not here. <laughs> so we can talk about them. Um, so your approach here is dynamic pricing is literally an extension of the fairly powerful rules engine that. Fair logic source he has. That's right. Right. So, with that said, I have a couple of questions. Um, this supposes that everything is essentially an if this then do that solution for dynamic pricing. We've heard yesterday uh, about machine learning, about intuition, mm -hmm. about knowing customer behaviors and being able to make decisions based on those. Where, where do you guys sit with that? So if you saw my slide, yeah. it's not about if this and that, right? Mm -hmm. The platform is able to consume any data. Mm -hmm. And I, we, we believe that machine learning is not going to be in just sitting in one place. It will be sitting in, in RM systems, right? It will be sitting somewhere in companies like Adara. Okay. And we will have our own machine learning as well with the data which we control. So. You need a platform and system which can consume all this data and still give you the best offer. And that machine learning can sit 
different places as well as in our system. Okay, so intuitively, your machine learning component is a bolt-on to what Correct. you guys have. Absolutely, that's your stance. Yes. Okay, I'm sure there's a number of companies that will disagree with you on that, but that's great. Um, settlement, uh, fulfillment. Mm -hmm. You're dynamically changing fares. Mm -hmm. Two months later, somebody's traveling. There's a change to the booking. There's an IROP, a sked change. How does the person sitting at a green screen terminal in the middle of the night in an airport on the other side of the world deal with the dynamic pricing that you've created? Great question. Coming from ATP, right? So we are doing this pilot right. with Sabre, uh, dynamically changing the fare, right? And they are going to file it in ATP, so mm -hmm. you have a record when the ticket is issued. So you have a record, and then you can go back okay. and track it. That's, that was called a softball question. Right? <laughs> so. Thanks very much. Thank Good you. Good presentation. Thank you.